We got an exciting one for you wing foilers out there today. We're gonna go everything we need to know about riding toe side on a wing foil. Let's break it down, let's go. Thank you, friends and family, all the people on YouTube, all over the place. We love you from Switzerland to France to you name it, all you guys chiming in. We love you. Thank you so much. Gwen behind the camera. I'm sorry, Gwen right here. <laughs> Nobody behind the camera. <laughs> Nobody Actually, behind. Actually, you know what? Today we get, we, we, I know we have a lot of people watching from France. Let's do it in French today. Actually, oui, oui, oui. People, oui. Comment, people comment all the time <laughs> thinking that Damien is French. They comment in French because Bonsoir. Cause your, your name like seems like you are French. And even people say like, oh, your accent is like so good. Yeah. Like your American accent. Totally. <laughs> totally. I have great French. But today we're going to keep it in English. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. We're going to cover, look, if you started wing foiling and you're going kind of back and forth, Toe side is one of those things that keeps coming up and a lot of people want us to kind of share this message riding toe side because toe side is a weird feeling. It's awkward. It's tricky. There's a lot to it even though it's pretty basic. Let's see if we can break it down for you. I'll jump into it and then Gwen can take over. My opinion with toe side is, <clears throat> look, the first thing I'll point out is when you're toe side, you don't have the same leverage on the wing. So in general, remember when you're toe side, you're gonna actually probably pull in more with your backhand than normal. Because normal, I have all this leverage, my arms are really nice and easy, I'm open to the wing. Toe side, this arm's kinda like shortened, so that means to get more power, I gotta bring this up further, or I need to push this further out to get more pressure in the back. So it becomes a little awkward. So a lot of people, when they go toe side, they go straight down wind because it's awkward to even be toe side. So that means you gotta pull even more for power. So know that when I pull a little bit more, it's gonna actually help me get a little more speed. The other one is try to just lean a hair forward to kind of turn that board so you start edging a little more into the wind, which will give you more tension in the wing. And that is some of like the key points. And I would say, look, turn your hips, really try to get more in the, more in the back part of your wing because the hardest part is most people are going toe side and they're going down when they're like, oh, there's no power because they're just not pulling enough or they're not pushing the front out to get that to really grab the wind. To me, those are some really important tips riding toe side. Also know your toe side, you may not go as good into the wind because you don't have the same leverage. That's okay. Ride as far as you can, flip it to heel side and blaze up wind the other direction. Yeah, I think what feels weird the first time you go toe side, so like, okay, you are riding like heel side, both direction, no problem. You are starting to get into the jibes. And I think that's when you have a need to learn how to go toe side, heel, uh, toe side because now if you jibe, you, you are gonna find yourself toe side. So that weird feeling is that you have been always riding heel side, so always putting pressure on your heel, leaning into it. Now, this is reversed. Now, toe side, you have to put more pressure on your toes. I think that's the weird feeling that, that's the reason why around. when you first go toe side, you start going downwind too much. That's because you are still, you still have too much pressure on your heels. If you have too much pressure on your heels, you're gonna go with the wind because you are like switched. So, I think the, 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 the one of the most important thing is getting used to once you do your job and you find yourself toe side, leaning into it and if you lean into it you need something to grab on that's why you're gonna have to pull more on your backhand to close that wing yep. onto the wind to get more tension on it now with more tension you can lean more and the more you lean pretty much the more you're gonna go upwind but that's why like it's it's more tri tricky to go upwind toe side because it's an uncomfortable position so everything has to be twisted you you know you you're you're, you're, you're riding toe side and now your hip your hip needs to um, turn your shoulders needs to turn your your body is a twist and that's why like at some point you're gonna want to switch fit which we have a video on how to switch fit because riding toe side for a long time is not um, it's tiring it'll burn you out but if you are, I would say if you are riding in waves then you might want to ride toe side until the next wave so you you, you just go, don't go for very long but if you are 
cruising for a long time, you ride toe side, but at some point, boom, you switch your feet back to heel side. Very well said. Look, toe side's one of those things. Look, put your time into it. The biggest mistakes are going too far downwind. If you feel like you don't have any power, you probably need to put a little more leverage on your toes and a little more into the wind, and then you'll create more tension, or you just need to pull in and generate a little bit more tension with your back hand. It's more than you think. Remember that. That is something that's very key that a lot of people miss. They're like, oh, I'm right here. I'm doing it. I even catch myself many times when I'm riding toe side where I'm like, I'm trying to get going, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to really get on it because you're just so used to the same whatever right, right here, it's not the same toe side, you need even more. So just remember that, look for the power, the power's there, you just gotta grab it and pull it in. You wanna be on your toes, I think Gwen nailed that perfectly. Um, look, it's one of those tricks, just take that nice heel side turn, lean over to toe side, and really look where you're going. Try to, try to pick a point that's higher so that your eyes don't steer downwind, pick a point a little bit higher and try to kind of shoot for it then it'll pull more tension and your eyes and body will focus on going a little higher than lower. When I used to race, I used to always, people would fixate on the buoy that you wanted to go around or the, or the pin. If you fixate on that pin, you're more than likely going to land right at the pin and if that wind shifts, you're game over. So a key point in racing, which is something that I'll relay to you, was I always never looked at the buoy. I would literally pick something above it and I would point for that because if I can hit that, I'm for sure going to make that and I'll never miss my mark. I never miss my mark, right? Everybody out there that raised me, oh my gosh, I miss my mark a ton. It does help. Look, that is riding toe side with the man himself, Gwen, behind the camera too. There's two of them. Um, let's leave on this note. We appreciate you guys. Look, all you people that are chiming in from around the world, Thank you so much. You've really inspired us. One, because we, 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 we hear comments, we hear great stories, we have tons of motivation from you, and we've been inspired. We're hoping to inspire others. And look, truly the goal of this channel is to inspire you, your family, your friends, everybody to go live your best life. Get up, I don't care if it's wing foiling or just going to the library or getting out and going out to eat whatever it may be, going for a walk. Do something, don't wait till tomorrow, get up and do it. Yeah, I would say like, we love winging, you guys love winging, or maybe you don't yet, but be open. To you will. Be open, yeah, be open to try new things. We, winging is new and a lot of us, when we first saw winging, we were thinking maybe yeah. it wasn't that fun. Yeah. But if you have an open mind and you go out there and you try, you won't miss on like amazing things like winging. So be open to try new things. You might like it, you might not like it, but if you don't try it, you might totally miss, miss out on it. So. so let's end it in French. <laughs> Allez, on vous revoit la prochaine fois. On a plein de vidéos qui, qui, vont, qui vont venir là. Donc vous restez connectés et on se voit la semaine prochaine. You! <laughs> oui, oui, bonsoir! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>